it's a modern problem this uh, electromagnetic frequency overload and electromagnetic radiation overload in the environment and on our body looks like a new problem and it is a new problem but as Charak Sanghita says that try to find first the etiological factor. How I got this necessity to teach this knowledge to my clients, to my doctors, because the Charak Sanghita says, based on Tri Sutra Ayurveda, that Hetu Linga Oshad Gyanam Swasthatur Parayanam. Hetu Linga Oshad Gyanam means first try to find the etiological factor. In search of etiological factor, the reason of imbalances, the reason of disease, I got this. I got this necessity to find out everything about this electromagnetic frequency impact in our physiology. That is an interesting story I always like to share that how my training from my father insisted me, insisted me to find out the etiological factor first before going anywhere in recommending anything. It was 1991 October. I was seeing patient with the local doctor in London and first time I saw that almost everybody had some rhythmic, very mild, but some rhythmic problem in the pulse. Because pulse assessment is the first thing which I do and my, my student doctors are doing. I have not seen that kind of rhythmic imbalance in Sanskrit called laya. Whoever has taken pulse course from me, they all know what I'm talking. The laya, the rhythmic imbalance was there on almost on everybody. It was new to me. Because if you know my, my life history, I studied six years in Ayurvedic University and seven years I studied with from my father which is in my village, and there was no electricity there. So I have not seen that rhythmic imbalance in the pulse before in as many people, even not at all. And then I called my father in those days, he was taking care of my family in Rachi, and I call him that I'm seeing some unique kind of very specific kind of imbalance in rhythm, in a rhythmic area, in the laya area, in the laya of the pulse. And I don't know what is that. He told, you have to find out the etiological factor. You cannot practice Ayurveda without following the Charaks Tri Sutra Ayurveda, which is the main Ayurveda of Charak Sanghita. And this is the skeleton, this is the spine of Ayurveda, basically. So find out what imbalancing factor is there in London, which was not in your village. 
Next day in my meditation, I got that, oh yes, my village didn't have any electricity and here we have a lot of electricity there. Even it was 1991, it was not that many as today, but it was enough to see in the pulse. Then, after getting this etiological factor, then I, then I told him that this is a modern day problem. So how we are, we are going to know what to do? He says, yes, this is a modern day problem, overuse of electricity. But in Puranas, in Vedas, in certain, certain areas of Ayurveda, we have the knowledge. Then he reminded me that in, uh, within seven years, about six, seven times, we had to go to, for a house call for the victim of the lightning or thunder or vajra. In monsoon, we have a lot of lightning going on there and sometimes it falls in the house and the house was being burnt and the people can die, kettles were dying and the shock was there in the whole family. And then he says, yes, see we have seen some of them, it was not that many, but whatever treatment we have done, recall that. Now you know the etiological factor, whatever treatment we have done, try to advise them and that will help them. What we used to do in those days, we have to, we will just uh, swipe the whole body with the big clay or the, the clay bath, mud bath, tell them to lie down on the ground and afterwards just tell them to be near big body of water and breathe deeper, meditate under the big tree, hug trees. And I started to give those recommendations. Since then, a more electromagnetic frequency and electromagnetic radiation things gone higher and higher. We are using more and more and more and I'm seeing more and more, more and more rhythmic imbalance and sometimes it goes so much, so much. So half of the body is getting, half of the body is getting uh, normal pranic reception and half of the body getting very slow pranic reception and uh, myself, including all my doctors, all my practitioners can see it very clearly. Since then, my journey of research started and I started to do more and more research in a Ayurvedic books, in a Shiva Sanghita, understanding, understanding that how and how much and where these EMF and EMR impacting our physical body, our brain, our heart, our everything. And then in the meantime, whenever I will see whatever level of problem is there, I am recommending different, different levels of the treatment for balancing EMF. Because I cannot say that, oh, you should not use computer. I am teaching now here when I am surrounded with all kind of EMF. Two cameras are there, a speaker is there iPhone is sitting next to me. So you cannot escape from this. You cannot run away from EMF. Sometimes you are not using, your neighbor is using and Wi-Fi is coming to your, uh, your home too, your apartment too. 